Hey y'all, welcome to Authentically Alexis 1111. If you are here, that means you are a part of the Authentic Tribe. Thank you so much for joining and we hope that you stay around forever and ever. So y'all, I know I said Authentically Alexis 1111 and I did originally record this video for that channel. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed, you can go over and check that channel out. And um, do so at your leisure when, whenever you feel like it. You know, if you feel the vibe, you will subscribe. Um, but, you know, I love you guys on this channel here. And I just had to come back and post it. So, you know, just excuse that. And, um, yeah, badass big girl. I love y'all. And, yeah, I just wanted to come and let y'all know that. Um, so I'm not going to tell you guys to like the video, you know, you can like the video anyway. I'm also not going to tell you to subscribe because if you like the vibe, then you will subscribe. But what I do want you guys to do is comment down below something that you're grateful for. We're going to start each video off with doing just that. And I'm going to have a few more things to say. So while I'm talking, you guys to go ahead and type something down real quick about what you're grateful for. You know, because the attitude of gratitude will give you more of what you're grateful for. I'm going to say that a little bit slower and I'm going to say it louder for the people in the Rosa Parks section. The attitude of gratitude will give you more of what you're grateful for, period. Um, we do have four rules for agreements here. Those rules are, first one, be impeccable with your word. Second one, don't take anything personal. Third one, don't make assumptions. And the fourth one, do your best one through four every day, all day. That's all you can do, honey. Ain't nobody perfect and we're not going to chase that uh, dream or the expectation of perfection. So yeah, um, I got those four rules for agreements from the book, The Four Agreements by Don Miguel. It's a great book. It's life changing. If you haven't read it, please do so. So now that we're done with the intro, boo, let's get into the video. So yeah, if you've seen the title, you already know this story time is about to be crazy. Y'all, this is just a story. Um, I'm neutral in this story. I feel either here nor there about it. So y'all just take it how you take it. So, okay. So you know I was on the devil, P-O-F. You know how <laughs> I know. Y'all don't even, I got more stories about P-O-F. Don't worry about that. But yeah, I was on POF and so this guy had hit me up and so he had responded to all the questions that were in my profile and everything and he was like, yeah, I think you're gorgeous and I want to get to know you. I was like, okay. So for the sake of this story, we're going to call him Blends because he has some funky looking glasses on and I just always remember him. So we're going to call him Lens, like in glasses, Lens, like L-E-N-S, Lens. Okay, so... um. Yeah, so we was talking or whatever, and he was like, yeah, um, I got six kids, I'm divorced, um, I have a roommate, but I don't like my roommate, and I'm ready to move out, and all that type of stuff, or whatever, whatever, remember that. So you guys know I had to come with the receipts, so you know that, you know, what I'm telling you is what it is. And so I was like, oh, okay. So then he was like, you know, can I have your phone number so we can talk offline? I was like, okay, sure. So um, I give him my phone number. So he calls me. So when he calls me, we're on the phone talking. And so he calls me on the Sunday morning. And he was like, yeah, I'm up. I'm getting ready for church. I just wanted to call you. And you know, see how you was doing before I got ready for church. Her mama don't play that. She a church lady. And she made sure we go to church every Sunday. So I was like, oh, okay, that's what's up, whatever. You know, I don't care either way here nor there. But um, so I was like, okay. So then he was like, my insurance got calling. Let me call you back. I was like, okay. So I didn't hear from him for like two days. So then two days he calls me later. So of course he has a story. So he got on the phone and I'm already sounding real dry, uninterested. Like, yeah, okay, 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 whatever. So then he's like, um... I got to tell you what happened with the insurance guy and why he called me. And so I was like, okay, what happened? So he said that his daughter, who is an adult in college, um, he has a car that he gave her. 
he still pays the insurance and the car is still in his name. Um, but she drives the car when she comes home. So the car is still um, here. So here, here we're meaning where he was living at the time. So um, he says, oh, well, my insurance guy called me to tell me that my car was involved in a hit and run accident and asked me was my was my daughter driving and he said well no my daughter's back in college right now you know school started back up so she's not driving at the moment so i don't know what happened so basically a you know the little cameras on the light the the light cameras and stuff like that caught a hit and run so the car was parked in his mother's house and his mother has a boyfriend. So his mother boyfriend took the keys from the house and went, I guess, joyriding in the car and hit somebody and took off. So he said that he went and he pressed charges when he saw the pictures from the camera or from the light and said that he knew who it was because of not that was going to charge him because it was his car. So he ain't had no choice. You know, it was like a, a catch-22. So, you know, be damned if you do, damn if you don't. He shouldn't sell the car, quote-unquote. So he went to the police station, and he was like, yeah, I know who it is. I want to press charges, blah, 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 blah. So the police go get the guy. They put him in jail or whatever. And you know what I'm saying? He didn't doing paperwork. So his mother shows up. His mother's like, how, do, how dare you put my boyfriend in jail, blah, 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 blah. And she's there to try to fight him, like, like throwing bows and punches. Like, you know what I'm saying? Grunt, like, you know, mama was nuck if you book. You know what I'm saying? She a church lady. She ain't no killer, but don't push her. That's her man. She's ride or die. So the police end up locking her ride to die self up, girl. They don't lock her up, sis, ma'am, bruh. You know, I say girl by nature, but you know, sis, ma'am, you know, bruh, sir, you know, all of that good stuff. But yeah, so they end up locking the mama up, girl. So um, he's like, you know, he, he didn't press charges, but the police did it because of how she was conducting herself in the police station. So I was like, wow, all of that happened. He was like, yeah. So he had already been on the phone trying to like woo me and text me. So I'm like, yeah, I want to take you on trips and I want to buy you Victoria's Secrets so you can model it for me and all this type of stuff. And I'm just, I do not like when guys try to woo me. Don't try to woo me. Be yourself. Like, you know, because at the end of the day, you're going to put on a face at first. But then after, you know, I let my guard down, you're going to show me a totally different person. Like, no, show me who you are from the jump. Let me see what I'm dealing with. So I already had like an icky vibe about him. He already gave me an icky vibe. So I was already kind of like, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know how we do when we really, you know, we be listening, but we would just be like, yeah, whatever you say. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I was giving him. So he kind of already felt that anyway. So after the conversation ended, we didn't talk for like a whole week because I didn't call him because I just, I don't know, it was something about his story. I didn't, I didn't put it out. It, it just didn't make sense to me. So one day out of nowhere, something just told me to call him. So I'm getting on the train and I'm going, I'm on my way to work. And I said, let me call him. So I'm on the train and I called the phone. And so I called the phone and it's like, you know, ring, ring, ring. And so a woman picks up and she's like, hello. And I'm like, hello, can I speak to Lens? And she's like, who is this? I was like, why? She's like, this is Alexis. I was like, well, apparently you already know my name. So, you know, what's good, sis? Like, hello, how are you? She was like, this is his wife. I was like, oh, I didn't know he had a wife. She was like, yeah, he got a wife and whoop de whoop. And so then I guess at this time he was in the bathroom when she picked his phone up. So when he came out the bathroom, she was like, you know who Alexis is? Who is Alexis? Who is Alexis? So he's like, oh yeah, that's my friend. And he, she was like, well, why you got friends? Who you talking to? And she asking me questions. And I'm telling her like, you know, he been trying to talk to me. She was like, how you meet him? I said, I met him on POF. And she's like, another one? Another one? She is going crazy. And she like, you know what? You know what? Put your shoes on. And I'm just like, damn, she finna put the man out. She's like, put your shoes on because we finna go back to the hospital. <laughs> 
Bruh, she said we finna go back to the hospital. I said, y'all finna go back to the hospital at this time. I'm thoroughly amused. And I'm sitting on the phone listening because I want to hear what's about to go on. So she was like, yeah, we about to go back to the hospital because this ain't the first time he did this and he always cheating on me. And da, 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 da. And she was like, last time I put stitches on him and he about to get some more stitches and all this type of stuff. And I'm like, dang. I said, girl, it ain't worth it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can get another man. Like, why would you go to jail over him to put stitches on him? So basically, yeah, she was, finna, she was finna put stitches on him and then take him to the hospital. Like, it toxic stuff, honey. I already, I already knew it was some toxic stuff anyway. So, yeah, so we're on the phone talking. So she asking me all type of questions. By the time I don't got the train, I'm walking towards my destination because I'm on my way to work. It's early in the morning time. You guys don't fault me for this. I wanted to add this in there because I thought this was funny. So while the girl was asking me questions about him, um, I did mention to her the story about his mother um, being arrested in, his, in the car getting into an accident. And she tells me that her mother-in-law never got arrested. And she turns around and she slaps him in the face and say, how dare you lie on my mother-in-law like that? So, y'all, he basically lied about the whole story about his mama being locked up and his mama's boyfriend still in the car. Like, this guy was a, he was just like a, a, a glorified liar. So, I just wanted to add that in there so y'all know that he he's a big liar. So she's talking to me and she's like, you know, how do you look? And anytime I'm like, man, you why do you want to know how I look? Like, I'm defensive now because I'm like, is you going to be looking for me or something, sis? Like, why do you want to know how I look? So then she's like, no, because I know how his type, the ones he was cheating on me with, they was dark skin. I bet you dark skin, ain't you chocolate, ain't you? I was like, well, yeah, you know, I am a little, you know, a little sexy chocolate thing, but... You, she didn't know that I, you know, because she, apparently she told me that she was light skinned and I guess he preferred like, you know, chocolate women, like, you know, he preferred a darker, a darker skinned woman. So she was just like, you know, I know that you are a darker skin complexion. And I was like, you know, I neither, you know, concurred or denied. I just let it be what it was. So then she was like, you know, what else did he tell you? Did he tell you how many kids he had? I was like, yeah, he told me he had six kids. Because, you know, in my mind, to people, six is a lot of kids. But, you know, I'm not really judgmental when it comes to kids and relationships because I personally, I feel like the kids aren't the issue per se most of the time. Most of the time, it's the adults that make it the issue, the whole baby mama, baby daddy drama and all that other type of stuff, honey. So that's what I feel like the issue coming. But I don't feel like the kids necessarily are the issue. So I like kids. Kids are a blessing. I don't have any kids yet. So, you know, I don't have anything against kids. Even the kids that aren't, you know, the best behaved kids, I still like kids regardless. So that wasn't a big issue. So I thought that maybe she was trying to tell me that to try to be like, well, girl, he didn't tell you he had six kids. Like, yeah, girl, he told me he had six kids. She was like, no, he does not have six kids. I was like, oh, he don't? She was like, no, he has 13 kids. I was like, girl, I almost got hit by a car. I was like, I had to step back for a minute, girl. Because I was going to go into a on traffic because I'm over here talking and getting good. And your girl said 13 kids. And I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. And his damn car was hitting here, got blowed the horn, almost startled the hell out of me. Honey. So, yeah, I, she was like 13 kids. I was like, wow. So, I was like, oh, he said, I said, all of those are his. She said, eight of those are his and five of those are hers. So, they got 13 kids. <sighs> Girl, the fucking Brady Bunch plus some, honey. The Brady Bunch and the Cosby family up in that mug. Shoot, like 13 kids? What the? He need to lay it down. She needs to lay it down. Like, they both need to lay it down. He need to tie his dick up in a bow, tie her tubes up in a bow, and throw it over your shoulder. You know what I'm saying? Like they did in the song. I don't know. I don't even remember the name of the song. You know the name of the song. Comment down below. You can tie it in a knot, you can tie it in a bow, you can throw it over your shoulder. It's like a song, song, song. Do your ears hang low? <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, they didn't tie it in the bow, all that shit. Tied up, tied up, tied up, tied up. Boom. Because they don't need no more of their orders. But yeah. 
So as I'm, I'm like, okay, girl, well, I have to go. I'm, I'm on my way to work. So I said, I'm at work. She's still talking to me. So now she's questioning my, you know what I'm saying, my truth or what I'm telling her. She asking me is, you know what I'm saying, what I'm true. I'm like, girl, I don't, got no I don't have any reason to lie to you. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? You asking me, you know what I'm saying? I don't care. So I'm sending her little receipts here and there, little stuff. He sent me text message. Mind you, we had never met up. We were just conversating on the phone. We had maybe two or three conversations, and that was it. And he was just, you know, over them two or three conversations, he was just trying to get me the world. I'm just like, you don't even know me. Why are you trying to get me the world? You don't know me. Stop trying to do that. Like, so... I was just kind of already over him. So I was like, girl, we didn't talk that much. And, you know, before I called him today, we hadn't talked a week prior to. So me doing this, I have no motive for doing this. I don't want him to have, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just telling you this to let you know how your man is, wifey. You know what I'm saying? Let you know how your boo is. So I sent her all this stuff and she sent me back all these text messages. And she was like, you know, yeah, well, you know... I don't believe that he really was trying to talk to you. But, you know what I'm saying? He does this from time to time. I said, girl, you don't got to explain that to me. You don't got to explain nothing to me. I said, you good, boo. I said, you good, boo. I said, y'all do you. You do you. And y'all, you know, y'all live happily ever after in y'all little happy Brady Bunch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I am cool with exiting him out i'm cool with that you know what i'm saying but yeah so y'all be careful like i'm not gonna say you know what i'm saying be suspicious of every guy because you know to be perfectly honest with you the way the law of attraction works after that happened i was so suspicious of every dude like i ended up attracting guys who had girlfriends who was on the, you know what I'm saying, trying to mess around on the low. I was attracting guys like that because I was so suspicious that every guy had a girlfriend now because I went through this instance and it was just so dramatic that it just made me feel like all oh, y'all dudes be lying and cheating, which all guys do not lie and do not cheat. You know, I don't want to put that out there. Y'all don't. Y'all, all y'all don't lie and cheat. It is some good guys out here. But you know what I'm saying? This, this internet dating stuff, honey, this stuff right here. I ain't gonna say it's for the birds, but it's definitely for the fucking seagulls. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like over it. I'm about over it. I'm gonna tell y'all some more stories too. But yeah, you guys, y'all, I hope that you guys enjoyed the story time. I hope that you guys have a great Christmas. I hope this was a lovely Christmas gift to you. And um, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to Authentically Alexis 1111. The link will be down below in the description bar. And you know what I'm saying? I hope that you love my vibe and that you will subscribe. And I know that you like the video, so go ahead and like the video. Okay? And I know that you already commented down below what you was grateful for. Because you let me tell you something. Whatever you was grateful for, it's going to start multiplying to you times 10. So if you're grateful for the little bit of money that you got, that money going to multiply times 10. If you're grateful for the love in your life that you have, that love is going to multiply times 10. If you're grateful for the success you have in your life, that success will, gratify, will multiply times 10. If you're, if you're grateful for the house that you're in. That will multiply times and you'll get even bigger and a better house that you will absolutely beyond your, your biggest dreams. You know what I'm saying? That's what gratitude does for us. So I want to share that with you guys. And I'm grateful for you being here and listening to me and enjoying this video. And I hope that you guys stick around and that we're going to have some fun together. I got so much good stuff planned for y'all. So y'all have a good day.